I take pictures in my community, I do feel a sense of disbelief because there isn't much going on there. And pictures, they will show that there's just land that's just not used. There isn't much for children and it's more or less a barren sort of place, I would say, in my description. There isn't much going on and you can see that it's almost depressing. Taking pictures in my community would actually show that it doesn't make me feel happy of what's going on in my community right now because I believe that there is a need for change, for it to be improved, for the better of the people and everyone else here. I chose Princess Down for Photo Boys because, well firstly it was ranked as the second highest community with poverty in Trinidad and Tobago by the Ministry of People and Social Development and well, secondly, this is a community I grew up in and for me when I look at Princess Down I see an area with a lot of potential. Um, the people within the area are very skilled and talented, they could take anything and make it into something and this is what the rest of Trinidad just not seeing, just seeing poverty um, but through the use of photographs it could be used as shock therapy for the policymakers so that they could say okay this is a community that needs serious attention we need to focus some resources in this area Patrice, to me, has all the qualities of a great leader to be, a great manager to be, somebody who can inspire others to follow her. And in coming together to do this project, I saw it in the way she was able to motivate, mobilize, and also instruct the young people in the way they should go with this Photo Voice project. So Photo Voice really has three phases. In phase one, you would have the recruiting of participants, you would have the training of photography skills to the participants, you would have them going out into the communities taking pictures, coming back, discussing the pictures in our learning circle, and then selecting the photographs with the best captions to put in our photo exhibit. Um, at the photo exhibit is where we would invite policymakers and gatekeepers of the community who Really, anybody who could make a change in the community, come and see what is being done, what the community is interested in. What I love about photography is that it is a medium for creation, and I am a person I love creating, making. You are in complete control. You are able to mold and shape and make it into what you like. That is a way that you will be able to express yourself without anybody having anything to say about it. The second phase of Photo Voice is where the researchers go back into the community and have really a uh, discussion. How we're going to build the programs, find out what programs they are interested in coming out of the photography. With pictures, just like literature, you'd have to analyse what you see. Because even though you have words and they are there, you still have to find a deeper understanding of what it would mean. Just like that, pictures would tell you that story. You have to look deeper than just what that is right there and understand what is supposed to be told. That now led to the third phase, which is really the implementation of these programs that were designed in phase two. Sustainable development to me means capacity building in people of communities. Communities being the basic building block of society. This capacity building is all that they can do, all that they can share because they are the professionals of their own experiences and what has been happening for far too long is that things have been imposed upon communities thereby preventing sustainable development and sustainable development is just a tagline. I was very interested, interested sorry, to really build on the skills that they already have and bring it to the, the population of Trinidad and Tobago. This is what Princess Town has to offer, not just poverty, not just the increase in crime rate. But we have skills, we have talent, we have educated people coming out of this community.